Michelle A. Cord is one of New Zealand's best loved comedians with a string of awards under her belt. She's also a trained journalist. She's an actress and a mum and a cool person. And she will be hosting a very special Mother's Day show in Auckland on Sunday to celebrate mums everywhere with other comedians and some very special guests. It's so nice to have you with us. Ladies and gentlemen, Michelle A. Cord. Oh, lovely. <laughs> nice. I like it here. It's really nice to have you there in our giant size. I know. Yeah. Look, this is great. I feel like a tiny, tiny person. It's good. Yeah, you feel like you're miles away too. Oh, it's all right. It's great to have you in the studio because I want to talk to you about your show, Mum's the Word, because what's intriguing about it, it's not just you doing stand-up comedy. No. You've got a whole lot of women, not necessarily comedians, who are going to be telling stories. Exactly. So we decided that for this year's festival to do something that wasn't straight classic stand-up and get some more women involved. And women love storytelling. Yeah. We love telling stories, yes. right? That's what we're good at. And we're very good at it. We're generally quite crap at jokes. Like, I always tell the punchline before oh. the set up. Go, no, hang on, oh, wait. No, no, what is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just Google it later. So there was that a thing, of... and I, oh, no, I've blown it. Yeah. And so, um, <laughs> but we're really good at stories. And so we put the word out a few months ago saying to women within the comedy industry, but also other entertainers. So we've got fantastic comedians like Justine Smith. Oh, cool. And, uh, and screenwriter Catherine Burnett, who's, you know, written all kinds of fabulous things on television and film. Um, and Julia Deans, the singer-songwriter, is yep. doing a story. Um, so uh, there's about 10... 10 of us talking about being a mother or talking about our mothers or not being a mother or, you know, yeah. So that kind of flows on nicely from the six-week tour that you yeah. have just been doing around New Zealand. I must have been, I was watching your Instagram account, and I love the places you went to. It was great. Small and intimate, great crowds. How did that yeah. tour go? Oh, I just loved it. It was really cool. We went from Kaitaia to Stewart Island, and some big places like... Invercargill, which was huge, but also <laughs> little places like Balcairn and Barrytown and Putaruru and but then the whole town would turn up. Like in Stewart Island, there are 400 people and 100 of them came to the show. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So like if that had happened to me in Auckland, I would have had 250,000 people. Oh, that is so impressive. <laughs> exactly like that. And that, that was the show when you're talking about you know all the advice that you should have given your daughter. Yeah, all the stuff we. Which is really funny. All oh, this funny because there's so many things that you forget to tell your children. I yeah. think that we should tell them that. But there's so many funny and entertaining moments. Moments with, with yeah. parental, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, most of them relate to some sort of bodily function. Oh, sure. Be I've sure. got the best. I've got the best poo jokes ever, which I can't share because you know people are revolted. But there I've got is, three boys. Honestly, there is nothing better than a poo joke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you very yeah. much. I'm totally into that. I've been yeah. telling Mike this for ages. I used. To, I we did a, a, a show in Christchurch, and I got uh, food poisoning, and I did the first ten minutes of my show just about doing poos. <laughs> great. I can impersonate the sound of diarrhoea. <laughs> is that, is that <laughs> Somebody's probably <laughs> having that morning tea right now, going, yeah, oh, no, Michelle, no, no, make no, no. But you said the nurses would be watching. They don't. Oh, they'll be used to it. They'll be fine. <laughs> is what it's <laughs> and the show, I know, because that show stuff I forgot to tell my daughter, you have turned that into a book. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is selling everywhere. And Hot now cakes. I heard going to the UK. They are releasing it in the UK in July this year, which oh, is really gosh. exciting because there's a lot of people there. So. <laughs> and they'll all read it, and then you'll be rolling in the money. That's right, yeah, I'll buy yachts. Make, yeah, exactly, huge yachts. Yeah. Uh, what was some of the advice that you forgot to give your daughter? Um, I, here's a really great tip for Mother's Day too, uh, and it's in the show and the book. Uh, tights, If you once you've got your tights on, to stop them snagging, smear them with body lotion on the outside, reduces, in your, she is opaque, fishnets yep. even, Fishnets. Um, <laughs> Why is everyone laughing? Don't want to judge. I'm, I'm not judging anybody. Just whatever. You're into. Uh, oh, and it stops them snagging because yeah. there's no static yeah. cling. That's yes. what I do that. Oh, yeah, do you? Yeah. I love that. It's, I wish I'd known that all my life. I probably don't have to pass it on to my sons. Or maybe I do. And did, well, and did you surprise yourself when you were coming up with, you know, things that you needed to tell your daughter? Yeah, yeah, the list seemed really huge. And I didn't think about it until she left home. And then I spent those months walking around the house going, oh, my God, I forgot to show her hospital corners. <laughs> and how she reacted to this, you know, being she... told on stage to hundreds, if not thousands yeah. of people. Yeah, I mean, lots of people think that it's, it would be hard for her, but she really loves it because she's known me for a long time. And, <laughs> um, and I can remember years ago when I got a review 
Sue saying Michelle Acourt is really mean to her daughter and she obviously doesn't like her very much and I was mortified. So I rang Holly who was at, back home in Auckland and said, like, and she said, oh mummy, can some people not tell the difference between a comedy and a documentary? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Go Holly, she knows this stuff. Yeah. Nice. Well I really love the fact that you're doing this show and all the shows you do because I think it's so good to have women's voices in comedy because yeah. women are hilarious. Yeah we are. And often can be yes, we are. Yeah, slightly overlooked in comedy and this sound, this show sounds great, Mum's the Word, which yeah. is on. I guess for all of the details for that, best to go to comedyfestival.co.nz. Yeah. And you can do dinner and dessert with it as well. Even better. And a glass of champagne. Michelle, I caught it. It's been a pleasure. Looking forward to going for a trip on your yacht when you start rolling in the oh, yeah. book sales yeah. in the UK. Oh.